In this video, we'll be covering demand and its concepts. So, what is quantity demanded? Quantity demanded is the amount of a good that buyers are willing to and able to purchase. They want to purchase it, purchase the good and they have the money. They are able to purchase it and they are willing to purchase it. These two things. So that is the quantity demanded of a good. Law of demand. The law of demand states that other things equal the quantity demanded of a good falls when the price of the good rises so basically this law says that as the price as the price will go up the quantity demanded not the demand the quantity demanded will go down so there is a inverse an inverse relationship between the price of the good and quantity demanded of the good so this is the law of demand that as the price rises the quantity demanded of the good will fall what is demand schedule the demand schedule is a table that shows the relationship between the price of a good and the quantity demanded so this is a demand schedule and it shows the relationship between the price of the good this is which is ice cream in this case and quantity demanded of ice cream so we can see as the price is increasing the quantity demanded is decreasing so this confirms the law of demand demand curve the demand curve is a graph that shows the relationship between the price of a good and the quantity demanded of that good so since we know that there is inverse relationship between these two things so the graph is a downward sloping one on y axis we have price of the good and on x axis we have the quantity demanded and we can see as the price is decreasing the quantity demand is increasing so price is decreasing and quantity demanded is increasing so the curve is a downward sloping curve so what is difference between market demand and individual demand market demand refers to the sum of all individual demands for a particular good or a service graphically individual demand curves are summed are added horizontally to obtain the market demand of a good so here we can see that these are the individual demand curves this is individual demand curve 1 and individual demand curve 2 and we add these to get the market demand so market demand is horizontal summation we are horizontally adding the curve we are adding 4 plus 3 is 7 and 8 plus 5 is 13 we are adding these curves horizontally so this is horizontally adding two curves so we horizontally add individual demand curves to get market demand curve now what is change in quantity demanded so basically change in quantity demanded involves movement along the demand curve movement along the same demand curve it is caused by a change in price of the product other factors are constant as in law of demand other factors are constant and when only price is changing price of the gold is changing we see we observe a movement along the same demand curve so this is called change in quantity demanded change in quantity demanded is movement along the same demand curve as shown in this and as we have seen earlier price is rising there is upward movement from a to b along the same demand curve and quantity demanded is decreasing from a to four in this case we are assuming that a tax on sellers of ice cream cones raises the price of ice cream cones and as a result a movement along the demand curve because there is price change of the same good this is just one example there could be many reasons of increase in price and all those situations will lead to a movement along the curve and if there is increase in price there is upward movement along the curve if there is decrease in price there will be an downward movement along the curve 
so assume that price is falling from two dollar to one that is from two we are reaching to one so there will be a movement from b to a as demand will increase quantity demanded as quantity demanded will increase from four to eight so let's see what factors lead to shift in demand curve all the other factors except prices except change in price lead to shift in a demand curve when price changes there is movement along the same demand curve and then other factors which are assumed to be constant in the law of demand when those other factors changes there we observe a shift in demand curve so there can be many factors which lead to change in demand which leads to shift in demand curve those factors are like consumer of income income of consumer sorry <laughs> income of consumer price of related goods taste and preferences of consumer expectation future expectations of the consumer and number of buyers so this shift in demand curve is called change in demand and when there is movement along the same curve it is change in quantity demanded a shift in demand curve either left or right so demand curve shifts either in left or in right when there is increase in demand there is a rightward shift when there is decrease in demand there is leftward shift and these changes are caused by any change that alters the quantity demanded at every price see this diagram so increase in demand is towards right decrease is towards left now let's see these factors one by one which lead to change in demand income of the consumer as income increases the demand for a normal good will increase that is when income will rise demand for a normal good will rise and in the case of inferior goods if income will increase demand will decrease so this is a case for normal good there is rise in income so there is shift in demand curve since it is a normal good rise in income is increasing the demand so there is rightward shift in this case rise in income is decreasing the demand there is leftward shift because it is an inferior good one more thing to consider to remember is that as such there is no inferior good no good is inferior inferior good this term is in comparative terms the uh, inferiority of a good is in relative term as compared to other good for example traveling in bus is relatively inferior to traveling in your own vehicle now another factor that leads to shift in the demand curve is prices of related goods and related goods are of two types substitutes and complements substitutes are those which can be used in place of the good we are talking about suppose if there are two goods x and y if y is an alternative to x it is a substitute good and complements complementary goods are those which are used with one another these are used together so if x and y are complement goods then they are used together so pepsi and coca cola are substitutes and tea and milk are complement goods complementary goods so when a fall in price of one good reduces the demand for another good the two goods are called substitutes for example pepsi and coca cola if price of coca cola will rise people will go and purchase pepsi so fall also rise in price of one good is leading to 
increase in demand for other good similarly if price of coca cola will fall as compared to price of pepsi then people will buy more of coca cola and demand for pepsi will reduce since they are substitutes so when fall in price of one good reduces the demand for other good these are substitutes similarly when a fall in the price of one good increases the demand for other these are complements so if cars become cheaper the demand for petrol will rise because they are complementary okay this table summarizes how changes in various variables lead to change in the demand and what type of change for example if there is change in price of the own good it represents a movement along the same demand curve and if there is change in income price of related good taste and preferences expectations regarding future number of buyers these all lead to shift in the demand curve so this was a basic introduction to demand and its related concepts and next video will continue with supply and its related concepts